Welcome back. So the next thing I wanted to cover was one of the most common questions that someone asks when they start um, working with Foundry, which is they've set up a world with actors, items, um, journal entries, and now they have a second campaign. They have a second world. How can they share content from one world to another? There's actually an easy way to do this, but it requires a little bit of work. Um, and we'll be going over what that work is. It's basically creating a module uh, where you can package all of that shared content and then you can share this module between worlds. So we'll be going over how to build a module, very simple module, and how to put it in uh, your modules folder so it shows up in Foundry. Uh, we'll be going through this uh, Reddit post that goes over the exact steps that I'll be going over. If you prefer to read instead of watch, you're welcome to read this. I'll be linking this in the description, so check that out if you want to see it. So first of all, let's go into our Foundry world. In this world, you can see that I have a test actor. You can see that I have some test items, some journal entries. The first thing we're going to do is build a compendium from this. We'll go to the compendiums directory, create compendium. Let's say we want to build our test actor compendium. You can call this whatever, I'm just calling it something. Go ahead and click that, go to our actors, and I'm going to add my actor to the compendium. I'm going to do the same thing for the items and the journal entries. Uh, I'm going to create new compendium for items, item test compendium. Drag in the items. And then journal entries. So let's create another one. Journal entries. J test compendium. Go ahead and go to the journal entries. Drag these in, etc. Now we're done. We're going to go ahead and return to setup. This will save the world and everything uh, in it. Uh, if we go into our data folder uh, and we check out our data directory here, if we go to worlds, test world, there is a new folder in our, our world directory that's called packs. These are the compendiums that we created. We're going to need these. We're going to copy the packs directory and we're going to put it in a new module. So we're going to create a new folder for our module. We'll call it shared content. We're going to copy the packs folder in it, packs, uh, and then we're going to open this folder up in VS Code. So if we have VS Code open here, um, we're going to see in our data directory here. I'm using a dev folder. You can do this wherever you like. Um, and there's a shared content and a packs folder. I'm going to go ahead and create a new file here module.json. So module.json uh, is going to need a couple of things. This A JSON file is basically a special way to structure content. The first thing you're going to need to do is curly brackets. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see things a bit better. Curly brackets, then in uh, quotation marks, name. This is the name of our module. It has to be the same name of the folder. So the folder is called shared content, lowercase, no spaces. So the name also has to be shared content like this. Uh, then title, this is something that will uh, show up when we look for the module. We just want to say shared content uh, for Spaceman Devs World. Then uh, we want description. Uh, some cool description. Then we want the author. Uh, for me, that would be Spaceman Dev. Uh, version. This is that we can just put 1.0.0. Uh, again, if you're creating an actual module, you might not actually do version control, in which case these versions would go up and down. Um, compatible core version. This is the version of Foundry that this is compatible with. Generally, if it's just a shared content module, you might not have to worry about this so much. Um, my Foundry version right now is 0.6.6, .6, so I'm going to put that down. Uh, you can find out what version of Foundry you're running um, down here. So when, you, when you're here, it'll say Foundry Virtual Tabletop, and 
for me at 0 0.6.6. Next, you're going to have a PAX uh, key. So we're going to use square brackets for this. this that says that we're going to pass in a list of objects instead of just one object or one uh, value. Um, and ex uh, I'm going to copy paste what I already have and then go over it. So here, um, each object is denoted with curly brackets and a comma. And within each object, we have the name field. I just called the name for items items, a label, uh, the path to the compendium, which max matches up with where it is in our folders. Um, entity type. Uh, please make sure that you remember the uppercase here. If you call it lowercase item, it won't work. It has to be exact, the word item with an uppercase I. The exact, the word actor with an uppercase A. Exact, the word journal entry with an uppercase J and E. Uh, and then the modules. This is the module name, which we have up here, which is shared content. And that's it. That's all we need to do our first module. So we're going to go ahead and save this. Uh, and uh, we'll then go to the Foundry data directory. In our dev folder, I have our shared content folder. I'm going to copy that, bounce over uh, into our Foundry modules folder. Copy in the new version. Next. We're going to open up executable. Give it a second to load. Uh, next, uh, I'm going to create a new world. Actually, we can go into the modules to make sure that the module loaded correctly. You'll see spaceman dev shared content or whatever you called it. Uh, if it loaded correctly, if it loaded correctly, let's go ahead and create a new test world. We'll call it test four. And call, literally call it whatever you want. Um, let's launch our world, and right now, after it creates the world, we'll notice that there's nothing in the compendiums, nothing in the actors, nothing in the items, nothing in the journal entries. If we go to Manage Modules and we switch on Spaceman Dev Shared Content and we click Save Module Settings, uh, we'll suddenly go to Compendiums and we'll get our new compendiums, our Test World Actors, there's our actor. Test world items, there are items, and test world jobs, uh, uh, journal entries where they're here. If you want to drag them over so you have them in the world, you can do that there, like so. Um, otherwise, you can leave them in compendiums. These compendiums are going to be locked. Uh, you'll notice that if you click on them, it'll be up here, locked. It means you can't edit the content that's in here. That's because if you update a module or system, um, all of the PAX folders will get overwritten. So you don't want to put any stuff in, uh, you don't want to put any data in that uh, that you'll lose. So if you want to create uh, editable versions of these, you're going to have to duplicate the compendium and edit it there. And that's it. That's how we create a small module. We figured out how to use module.json, and we figured out how to share content across worlds. Uh, in later videos, we'll be working with modules a lot, and we'll be going into a little bit more in-depth on how to add more stuff to the module. But this is it. This is the first uh, your first module. So I hope this was helpful to you. I hope this helps you move your content from world to world. And I'll see you in the next video. Uh, if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It lets me know that there's an audience for this type of content, which is really helpful to me. Uh, and thank you for watching.